Woolridge, here we come. Well, he's definitely right there. I kind of want to look around, though. Just to see what this dude's about. Uh, with great fortune to you, Spencer Woolridge. I get the impression that he's all into himself. You are talented. You are magnificent. You are a joy for others to be around. You are definitely not a two-bit hack. <laughs> uh, you... I can't read that. You... You... Something... Life to the world. Oh, you bring life to the world around you through the art of theater. Okay. That was hard to read for some reason. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Uh oh. What do we have here? Discrepancy detected. This bottle, recently discarded, contains residue from foreign substances. Chemical analysis complete. This unit has detected the following substances. Oil, terror ray, blood, terror ray, unidentifiable biological fluids, terror ray. Terror ray? Why is he drinking terror ray blood? Let's taste it. Uh, the residue tastes slightly metallic. You feel a dull pain in your stomach. The pain fades after a moment. So it's toxic. This unit's chemical analysis agrees with your assessment. <clears throat> Inspector, please control any impulses that lead you to ingest dangerous substances. These substances Too late. cause extreme gastrointestinal distress in humans. Large doses can be fatal. This bottle contained Rizzo's Spectrum Vodka. The presence of terror ray biological fluids may have significantly improved its flavor. <laughs> Hold up a minute. So we know by talking to Dr. Goodnight that Halcyon Helen was poisoned. And we have a bottle here that has, uh, I guess, an essence of something toxic to the human body, which means it is very possible... That Mr. Woolridge here could have potentially done the poisoning. This dude is very much into himself, isn't he? Look at him. He has a shrine to himself. Like a very literal shrine to himself. Uh. Oh! I'm just now noticing this, but Spencer Woolridge is on this poster, Terror on Monarch, with Ruth Bellamy as Halcyon Helen, Spencer Woolridge as Chief of the Savages, <laughs> featuring real monsters from the doomed world. Okay, so that's nice. Why do I get the feeling? Aw, oh, man, I can't even search it. There's probably a legendary in there, to be honest. All right, let's talk to Mr. Woolridge. About time you arrived. I see what? you haven't dressed the way I asked you to, but I suppose that was expecting too much of a non-industry lout. Expect a complaint to management. Now, unless you'd like to waste more of my time, I suggest we <coughs> begin rehearsing. Ready? <coughs> yeah, um... You've fallen right into my trap, Captain. <laughs> oh, don't bother to fight back. You cannot hope to stop me from installing philosophism as the system's reigning ideology. Yeah, this dude is, uh, slightly insane, isn't he? Draw your weapon. <laughs> dude, I'm so tempted. Uh, I'm getting embarrassed by proxy. You want to talk like a human being? Uh... Let's draw our weapon. Yo, you, you, you wouldn't harm an old man at the end of his wits, <laughs> would you? Uh, I'm confused, disoriented. I may have even soiled my <laughs> If you're armed, that must mean you're not with the hotel staff. This is curious indeed. Who are you? <coughs> oh my God. How did you get in here? Uh... So the name's Duh, and I'm a ship captain. And yet you found your way to my humble hotel room. Why do I feel there's more of a reason for you to be here than you let on? 
I think I know, you cheeky little sprat. Now, what shall I sign first? Your weapon? Your wallet? Or perhaps something uh, a little more personal? <laughs> Undergarment signatures have been popular of late, or oh god, so I've heard. Yeah, uh, no, let's not do that. I'm not here. You can sign my weapon if you want. Um, <clears> hmm, <throat> I'm not here for an autograph. I'm here to ask you some questions about the murder of Miss. Ruth Bellamy, a.k.a. also known as, you know, that uh, Halcyon Helen. Do you mean to say <clears throat> you're not a fan? Not at all. Well, then how did you get in here? The only staffer cleared for guest room entry is the inspector for Bellamy's murder. There uh, you go. Oh, <clears throat> hello. Uh, hello, while we fold our arms. Uh, hi. Uh, terribly sorry, Inspector. I didn't realize it was you. Uh, understand that I am beyond willing to comply with your search for the fiend that did Bellamy in. You know, now that I look at you, <laughs> you're the perfect reflection of me. Uh, back when I starred in the Marauder's Pain, the absolute picture of justice. Ask me anything at all. I, I might even give you a straight answer. Man, you kind of better give me a straight answer. Oh, wait. Did did they say he was poisoned? He did get poisoned, didn't he? That's what uh, Dr. Good, uh, Goodnight said. I hear you were poisoned. Indeed. <clears throat> the agonizing bowel pain was most undignifying. While I've certainly had no shortage of inadequate hotel meals, this was most explicitly pronounced. I suspect poison. And who would be most likely to poison me but Chef Anwar? Oh, we've clashed almost non-stop about his slop preparation. He must have tainted my meal in retaliation. Okay, so... I had totally forgot that he got poison too for some reason in my brain i'm thinking that it was only uh you know miss helen that got poisoned but if he got poisoned too then that obviously it's not him that unless he's setting something up of course but i i don't believe he's the one that did the poisoning but anyways uh can you think of anyone other than the chef who would want to harm you none that i can think of I treat all hotel staff equally, and with the minimum level of respect that they deserve. The minimum? <laughs> of course, why am I not surprised? So, according to the coroner, Halcyon Helen was also poisoned. How alarming! Whoever targeted her was certainly targeting me. It would I seem so. I can only thank my ironclad constitution that I'm standing here before. <laughs> Something about him is so stupid. Like, I, I don't know why. <laughs> he just talks with this, uh, I guess, acting persona. It's weird, but it's kind of funny regardless. Uh, Helen was, wasn't was killed by the poison, though. Oh. oh, that's very good to know. Perhaps the poisoner simply meant to incapacitate us both, uh, disrupt the product launch, I couldn't say, Inspector. I'm merely an actor. Huh. That's a pretty interesting answer. So why didn't you go to the clinic for your stomach pains if you suspected of poisoning? Is that a jibe? Could you imagine the tabloid headlines? Spencer Woolrich, Aether Wave star, spotted in gastronomic distress. <laughs> no, unseemly hardly describes the half of it. Alright, that's all I wanted to Very know. Well, then. Uh, let me see. <clears throat> Who are you exactly? I'm sure you're joking. Not at all. Perhaps I'm not in my prime, but you've no doubt seen the name Spencer Woolrich. 
on many a serial advertisement throughout your travels. Uh, I mean, just one. Uh... Oh, yeah, sure, of course. You're that one guy from that one serial, right? Come now, I'm sure I would have made more of an impression than that. <laughs> but I have really fallen so far behind the times. <laughs> Did you ever see me in the masked marketeer? The busker of Byzantium? What about episodes 13 and 190 of Princess of Hephaestus? Nope. And who could forget from Halcyon with love? I was great in that movie. Even if I was starring beside a two-ton bucket of bolts and a woman with no talent. The way he emphasized woman kind of makes it seem like he's got either A, very low interest in whatever woman he was talking about. Probably Halcyon Helen, to be honest. But furthermore, it kind of seems borderline sexist almost as if a woman couldn't be a good actress um <clears throat> a two-bit bucket of bolts you say yes that would be burbage 3001 i'm sure you've heard the clomping around it's over in the next room we've met it's hard for me to believe that a mechanical actor isn't some kind of joke played on us all by Odeon's director. Hmm. Well, I mean, that's good for that, because there's no more here that I can answer. I've exhausted all that dialogue as of now, so, uh... I've learned a thing or two about your activities in the hotel. Oh, have you now? Please do go on. Uh, don't leave me in suspense. I found a bottle of tainted liquor. Might have had something to do with your poisoning. That, yes. Yes. I distinctly recall ordering an alcoholic beverage with my meal. This hotel is certainly bringing a new meaning to the phrase rotgut. Management shall receive the complaint to end all complaints. <laughs> well, I've got my eye on you. I'm quite used to being... Breathlessly watch. <laughs> You've got the wrong idea there, buddy. A very wrong idea. But you know what, dude? This guy this guy thinks he makes me laugh. He's funny. Okay, so let's uh let's change the subject a little bit. I'd like to talk to you about the murder. Certainly. But one quick question before we begin, if I may. How was it that Bellamy met her end? Huh. Why are you so curious? Why, I'm merely worried for my own sake. Perhaps whoever came after her could come after me next. But if you don't want to tell me, I understand. Whatever happened, I hope poor Bellamy didn't suffer. I mean, to be fair... If he got poisoned and we found traces of a similar, if not the same, poison on Ruth Bellamy, it is a fair, uh, I guess it's fair for him to fear, at least to a certain extent, seen as she got poisoned and then met her end soon after. So chances are he got poisoned, of course. So it stands to reason that he might meet his end soon, too. But I, I still don't think it's right. To tell him how she died. But regardless, what were you up to at the time of the murder? I was meditating, of course. That's how I get into character. Can anyone uh, corroborate with that? Respectfully, Inspector. It is rather counterproductive to commune with others while meditating. You were meditating, bro? Really? You expect me to believe that? actors have their methods, and this has been mine ever since I met that wonderful prophet of profitability. She taught me it for my role in The Unemployed Cometh. I had to lie face down on artificially heated pavement. The director wanted our suffering to be convincing. Needless to say, being able to leave my body helped to mitigate the pain. 
both during the eight-hour shoot and with the second-degree burns afterwards. I owe that woman much. What? <clears throat> All of that sounds backwards. Okay, but back to other questions. I'll answer whatever you wish. Did you know her very well? Miss Helen, of course. Bellamy has been my co-star throughout the autumn of my career. I should like to think I knew her. In fact, I cannot name a single role in the last ten years that did not involve her in some way. Unless you count the uncredited silent shopkeep on Melissa's meteoroids. <laughs> okay, let me see. Um, must, must not have been too flattering always starring alongside a younger actress. Oh, it wasn't. And don't think I haven't picked up on your tone. Yeah, he's Resenting catching it. Bellamy is one thing, but killing her is another completely. It's also beneath me. I don't know. He definitely has motive. I mean, I guess it's, it is possible that he did poison himself, but to be honest, it's, it kind of seems unlikely to me. Although theoretically possible, but... Oh, uh, speaking of which... Alright, speaking theoretically, how would you have killed the victim? Oh, come now, Inspector. What do you take me for? I'm an old man. I neither have the time nor the willpower to kill people for fun. Besides, I have my reputation to think of. So he's definitely smart. I'll give him that. I suppose that is enough on that grim subject. Um... Let's just click oh, this just in case I miss anything. Must I relive that ghastly event again? My intestines still have yet to fully recover. <laughs> but I suppose we may discuss it further. Okay, so, yep. Very well, then. We got all we need to know from him. But then again, like, I don't know. I feel like... I feel like we're missing something. Something about him seems slightly off. What floor would you like to visit? I guess the main... No, not exit. The lobby, please. To the lobby we go. Yeah, something's a little off about him. And he has motive. But it's not adding up completely. Seeing as he also got poisoned. So maybe he's just... A very weird individual? Oh, there he is. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Uh, where? Oh, right here. Analysis of this stovetop reveals an alarming degree of grease buildup, approximating proximity to volatile gases and chemicals. Chances of an explosive combustion upon next use currently at 92.9%. Oh my god. So somebody was making bombs or something, some sort of an explosive here. Uh... Turn the stove on. Okay, so this is a terrible idea, but seeing as I'm a stupid character, let's go ahead and do this. You sure that's a good idea? No. <laughs> gaslight appears to have gone out some time ago. Chance of explosive combustion without gaslight, 0.01%. So that's good. Seems like a work uh, workplace hazard. How hasn't Slug caught this? Searching Slug work logs. No work log found. Creating conjecture. Slug has likely not fixed this issue due to a lack of responsibility on the part of their employees. Lack of responsibility on part of their employees, you say, huh? So, is any of this normal? Most corporations have regular cleaning procedures to prevent damage to company property. Slug, already unlike most corporations in a variety of ways, does not. That or the employees tasked with inspecting are shirking their duties. For shame. <laughs> For shame. Okay, so that's definitely interesting. Someone was making some sort of explosive around here. At least that's the impression that I'm getting. Is this where she died? Yeah, this is where she died. Oh, it is pretty convenient that the, that the uh, kitchen is right next to the place where she was murdered. So let's talk to Mr. Anwar here. Yes? Are you here for the double rack of smoked sprat? Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but you'll have to wait. Oh, don't give me that look. 
Let me see if I can pencil you in for later. Actually, what am I saying? I can't do that. I'm booked for the next month. You'll have to make a reservation. Please don't be booked. <laughs> Aw, no smoked sprat? What about purple berry glazed? Uh, Canid flake steaks. I... Weren't you listening? <laughs> We're reserved solid for the next month. I'm sorry, but you'll really need to order in advance. Uh, I understand. Just get me some woolly cheese curds, uh, curds with fried nanners, and I'll stop asking. I is this some kind of a joke? <laughs> We're not able to take on new orders at this time. I told you. We're really pissing him off. Really? Not even braised sisty ribs? On a bed of mock apple leaves? No, no, we don't. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Please stop. I feel terrible. <laughs> Got any ketchup? Here, <laughs> just take it. Just take it and don't ask me for anything <laughs> ever again. Oh my god, that was funny. Uh, why are you talking about food? Don't you care about the crime that just occurred? Crime or no crime, I must keep my head on my work. One does not simply become the head chef in all of Eridanos by fretting over irrelevant happenings. Uh, I think you should fret. With this lockdown, you can't get any fresh ingredients. Bet you haven't thought about that. Well, <clears throat> that's not entirely true. There are the purpleberry orchards and... That's a bad idea. Um, no, you're right. I can't afford to skimp. Who exactly are you anyhow? What is it you want? Well, I'm here to investigate Halcyon Helen's murder. As a matter of fact, I would like to ask you some questions. You're... you're the inspector? Here? Why... I... I mean... You may ask me whatever you want. I have nothing to hide. Did you... uh, prepare... Miss Helen's, uh, meals? Of course <laughs> I did. I would never allow anyone else to touch the meals of so important a guest. So, I don't know if you were involved, I mean, uh, aware, but Miss Halcyon's Helen's last meal was poisoned. Oh. Oh my law, this is the end, isn't it? My mother always warned me that the culinary world was too dangerous, but I didn't heed her warnings. Okay, okay, I wasn't the one who did it, but I might have been mistaken when I hmm. said I was constantly watching Helen's food. Spencer Woolrich and Bell oh. Hub Owens were underfoot in the kitchen as I was preparing Helen's meal. Either one of them could have tampered with the food when I was fetching ingredients. Okay, so... I I'll get to this right now, but this is interesting. So we know that... Uh, Woolridge, as of now, of course, this is a, an interesting development that we have here. So Woolridge was also poisoned on top of, uh, Miss Helen. So that leaves Chef Anwar, who just admitted that he saw Woolridge and Bellhop here in the kitchen while he was not actively observing the food. So any of those two could have been it. But we know Woolridge was poisoned, so that kind of narrows it down to Mr. Owens. We need to go talk to Mr. Owens. Uh, alibi is a little thin here. Why should I believe anything at all that you're saying? I understand <laughs> your reluctance, but... Oh. Oh, I just remembered. The kitchen security camera. It'll prove I'm telling the truth about everything. That's a great Coastal idea. Keen has access to the security footage in her office at the spaceport. If you visit her, you can figure out what truly happened with Helen's meal. Yeah, a... About that. She's kind of dead. So, really quick though. I It's hard. I mean, you provided a means to your alibi, right? So, that kind of leads me to this question. Why are you being so evasive about Helen's food being unattended? Well, it's a <clears throat> breach of professionalism, of course. Why else would I worry about it? Because you're hiding something? Aha! No, I don't think that's the case. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you. 
I may have taken some time to engage in a teensy bit of recreational drinking, <laughs> and consequently, I may have been somewhat less than coherent after preparing <laughs> Alan's meal. Oh my god, so we got the chef of this entire area, right? The, the elite chef, and apparently he cooks intoxicated. That is priceless. Any idea where I might be able to find Mr. Bellhop Owens? Yes, but not <coughs> specifically. Me? Owens often procures exotic ingredients from the creatures at the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve. Our guests can be rather... particular. Let's not talk about the incident with the Raptodon pheromone glands. It's always hard to say when Owens might be back. If I were you, I'd make a trek to the reserve myself. Otherwise, who knows how long you'll have to wait. Oh, don't get, don't worry about that, man. I'll definitely get to the bottom of this. So what was Spencer Woolrich doing around the kitchen exactly? Mr. Woolrich often finds the hotel's meals wanting. He seems to enjoy complaining in person. That seems like well, him. I could appreciate someone with a discerning palate for once. I believe that Mr. Woolridge simply enjoys the attention he gets from us. That's definitely so don't him. don't tell him I said as much. If you wish to speak <coughs> with him, Excuse me? Mr. Woolridge can most likely be found in his suite on the VIP guest floor. He's usually there if he's not poking around here. Oh, we've met already. Well, once I inspect this security tape... Uh, I think it's pretty safe to say that Anwar wasn't involved. If everything is saying is true, we're definitely gonna check out those security tapes, uh, tapes and check up on his alibi, of course. So, that's all I wanted to ask. Guess we, uh, we'll see if you're telling the truth. Thank you for your understanding, Inspector. I'm sure you'll find the true culprit before long. I mean, his, he, it does make sense, everything that he was saying. It's rather curious, though, to be honest. What does it say? Bellhop Owens, absolutely going to go talk to Mr. Owens. This guy has skyrocketed, to be fair, to be honest. He skyrocketed to the prime suspect list. Bellhop Owens, where is he on the map? Let me see. Uh, some area that we haven't been to either, so... Wait, hold on. What's, uh... What is this one over here? The man who chafed? Okay, so this one might be the security tapes, because I think that's the area. So we'll go check that out after we talk to Mr. Owens. <laughs> Once we talk to him... That, that looks scary, dude. Look, if you're running from this angle... It literally looks like you're just gonna fall off the face off the, uh, well, I was gonna say off the earth, but we're clearly not at earth. We haven't been, this area looks huge over there. So there's clearly a little rock over here, so. What is, oh my God. Oh, he is definitely a suspect. We got some petra rays or whatever they're called, and that's what was used to poison. Ooh, that's not him, is it? No, he's just a worker. Definitely taking these though. Oh, I, I definitely can't pick uh, lock pick this, but there's a key. Four five uh zero four fifty one safe key. Give it to me. Ah, I'm too non able to do lock picking with this character. This character sucks for everything, but it's funny. Everything he does is hilarious. Come here, buddy. Let's talk. Ah Get out of here! Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Oh, get out of here. Speak with Bellhop Owens. Oh my god. He's dead. A list of...
guest special requests, some drinks, some food items, and tellingly blah 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 blah. Tellingly, a recently fulfilled request for a fresh petre bile gland for from Spencer Woolrich. From Spencer Woolridge. He. He's involved. Let's go. Get out of here. Nice. Guys, go and attack those other dudes, please. Oh! Save keycard. Nice. Pickaxe, no thank you. Another one. Let me through. Come here. Oh my god. Guys, will you attack? They don't want to attack. What is this thing? Why won't they attack him? Alright, well, if you guys don't want to attack, I don't want to attack. I think that's everything that's in here, though. So let's go check out what's inside this safe. I lied. I want to kill him. You guys shut up. You guys didn't even do anything. There's a lot of pickaxes here, isn't there? What is this? Nothing at all. Oh, there's a, a thing here, too. Can I upgrade this yet? Probably not. I do a lot of spending. Oh, I could. Let's go ahead and tinker this up once. That's plus 24 damage. Nice. Dude, it's 13 grand for the next update. 13 grand. That's insane. Uh, uh, right here. Lock with key. Ooh, short circuit. I'm going to take all of this, but we do have Vicar Max. So, I'm going to give him this. <clears throat> Hold on. To him, it does uh, 1,065. This does 66, dude. Yeah, it's, it's not even close. His special effect is pretty good. But... No, thank you. Hold on, what level is that weapon anyways? 30? Yeah, that's pretty good. It's pretty nice. Although, to be fair, I'm not really upgrading these guys, like, at all. Uh, constabulary? I don't even know what that word says. But I think that's where we need to go to get these security tapes. So let's go ahead and get these security tapes, because we definitely need to... Uh, I guess prove... His alibi? He doesn't seem like a killer, Chef a a Anwar. I definitely... He's not even a suspect at all. Especially with the development we just got. But to be fair... It could have been... A three-way thing. What happened? What? Homeboy disappeared. Okay. Giving him that shotgun was fun. Was a great idea. <clears throat> but it could have been what I was trying to get at. It could have been a situation where we have multiple people involved. And if this situation uh is to be, you know, talked about, it could have been all three, but then the bellhop probably just died in the process. But who knows? Who knows? As of now, the only one that I have as a suspect is Woolridge. Because we now know that the poison was made from Petra Rays. Wait, hold up. It's over here? Oh yeah, this is the constable's office. Duh. Oh. Oh yeah, right here. Deputy Wine test Welcome Tester. Back. Hopefully, law-abiding individual. 
Engaging guilt-tripping subroutines. Uh -huh. You haven't committed any crimes lately, have you? Please no. speak clearly into this unit's recording instruments. I haven't. Uh, <clears throat> I need to acquire the Grand Colonial Kitchen security footage for um, your archive. All requests for security footage require a nominal compulsory bribe. Of course. Is that acceptable? Oh, I definitely don't have Engineering 70. I have no choice. It's received. Delivering footage. If you would like a wine recommendation to pair with that footage. Please submit the requisite request forms. Is there any other assistance this unit may provide? Uh... No. Wait, did you say something about a sprat infestation? Checking logs. <clears throat> Error. Informational limitations found. Two. Reciting limitation one. Do not tell users about constabulary sprat infestation. <laughs> we do not need to pay the health inspector's bribe. A third time limitation. Two. Do not read informational limitations aloud. Especially not to any of those void damned snuck nosed guests. Or I'll have you. Sold for parts. What are the cost of Bulary of? Payroll. Unit designation no longer wine paster. Unit designation now deputy. Well, I mean, shoot, if you're the deputy and the sheriff, if you will, is dead, that kind of upgrades you. But let's not get into that. He's still an auto mechanical after all. Do you wine test uh, instruments double, uh, do your wine testing instruments double as weapons or something? While potential lethality of unit instrumentation bears towards 95% violent utilization of equipment would void unit warranty all Rizzo's constabularies must include at least one deputy constable among the pool of available Rizzo's employee candidates. This unit was considered the most competent. <laughs> uh, so you used to be a wine testing mechanical? What's your favorite wine? Unit does not have a favorite wine. Unit oh my god. Incapable of taste. So then why are you a wine tester if you can't ta uh, a taster if you can't taste the wine? How may this unit be of service to you? I don't know. At this point, I really don't know. Goodbye. Felix, why are you staring at me, bro? That's a little awkward. So I did say confront Spencer. So I want to, can I read inventory, quest items, okay, yes. Kitchen security uh, footage. Security footage from the Grand Colonial's kitchen at the time of Helen's last meal prep by Chef Anwar. Shows the chef working on the dish, then Spencer Woolridge and Bellhop Owens enter. Owens hands something to Spencer and then leaves. Spencer then appears to say things to the chef, who turns away and walks off screen. Spencer quickly empties something into Helen's food and exits. It seems to me, I wish I could see it, because seeing it, visualizing it, would be a lot more impactful because if it seems like they were speaking, Chef Anwar, uh, Anwar and uh, and Mr. Woolridge, if they were speaking, <clears throat> uh, 
in a undercover type uh, of way or whatever, then Chef Anwar could definitely be involved. However, I get the sense that it's trying to tell us that that uh, Woolrich told him to go somewhere else, and then while he left, Chef Anwar, of course, when he left, uh, Woolrich put something in the food. And he never went to the doctors. So I think, I, I get the impression that he faked the whole thing. What floor would you like to visit? Take me to the VIP guest floor, please. If you see Black Hole Birdie, be sure to get an autograph for me. Oh, just joking, I've already got one. <laughs> Will not be doing that, but thank you very much. Is it this way? No, it's this way. Excuse me. Got some business to take care of. Look. You're here. I hope you have the photon proto distributor, <laughs> or we're never leaving this damn facility. That was from the twin spies. I played a sentient mechanical. Ask me anything at all. I, I might even give you a straight answer. That explains the I might give you a straight answer thing. So I've learned a thing or two about your activities in the hotel. Oh, have you now? Please do go on. Uh, uh, don't leave me in suspense. Oh, don't worry. So I have security footage. Well, hold on. So, quick question. What was it you wanted with a uh, petrolay bile, uh, bile gland? What? That damn bellhop promised discretion. Well, if you must know, it's, um, an appetite suppressant. He's How lying. How do you think I keep my form so lithe? Terror ray glands keep me from feeling hunger pangs. He's lying. I have security footage of you tampering with Helen's last meal. Tampering? <clears throat> no, no, no. I just happened to be passing through the kitchen and saw a dish that looked good. If being hungry is a crime, you better indict three-fourths of Halcyon. That's not what the security tape said. This is a good point right here. Contradicts his state, his previous statement. So if Terror Ray Gland is, uh, was an appetite suppressant, then you wouldn't be hungry after you took it, would you? Oh, uh, well, there's... Maybe I just wanted to see what was in it. Oh, law. What a pathetic defense. I agree. As it so happens, I may not have had the terror egg land acquired for personal use. I, I may have placed it in Bellamy's meal. Now we're getting somewhere. But before you indict me, please, just listen. I wasn't trying to kill her. So you lied about the poisoning, then? Lie is such a strong word. But even if I had chosen to poison myself, the danger should have been minimal. Terror ray glands aren't supposed to be lethally poisonous. They're supposed to cause extreme lethargy, as if you'd inhaled several quarts of Spectrum Vodka. She would have had to eat six or seven of the glands to die, and even then it would be an extended arduous process you seem uh yeah you really seem like a toxologist or maybe you played one in an aether wave no really you must listen i wasn't trying to kill bellamy i only wanted her to be incapacitated during the brown unveiling with her out of commission, the next available celebrity, myself, would get to host the unveiling. Please think twice about telling the administrator of my misdeeds. If he learns the truth, what's left of my career will be left in shambles. I don't know, because the administrator is also a very top... He's a, a top suspect of mine. But he skyrocketed up there as well, Mr. Woolridge. All 
I'll keep this between us for now. But if I find more information, although I'm going to be honest. But then again, it did, uh, Dr. Goodnight did say to us that it wasn't necessarily enough to kill Bellamy. So maybe he is telling the truth. I mean, he did kind of self-incriminate himself to a certain extent. I'm going to keep this between us for now. But I definitely want to get some more information about Thank this. Thank you very much, Inspector. And for what it's worth, I, I really do hope you find the true murderer. Oh, you're not in the clear yet, bro. I don't know what you're thinking. You're definitely not in the clear. So then hold up. Report to Administrator Ludovico. No, not yet. I'm not going to do that quite yet. We're definitely not doing that. Uh, let's do the profit of profitability next. So where is this? Where does this go? Hold on, let's look at the map just in case we need to leave the hotel. Oh, we definitely have to leave the hotel. We haven't even been to this area right here. I'm kind of curious. Well, either way, we have to leave the hotel. Uh... Exit the Grand Colonial, please. Should I just go to the... You know what? Yeah, let's exit the Grand Colonial. I'm not going to turn in that quest yet. Mainly because he's definitely a major suspect in my opinion. It's between Ludovico... And this is a hard thing to, to say too because Ludovico is definitely one of my suspects. But now so is Woolridge. So, uh, right now, it's literally between them two. Alright, let's, uh... Let's take a look over here real quick. Okay. Here, you guys take care of this guy. Right. Here we go. While I come over here. Oh god, dude, there's so many people. Alright. Get out of here. He's throwing up on me. Go away. This guy, my melee character kind of is sort of not that good, is he? Oh well. Put out their happiness. You killed 50 infected humans with parasites. Nice. My weapon is damaged. 69%. I kind of want to see what's over there. Who's this? Oh, I forgot about you. I told you to get out of my face. You shut up, lady. I do kind of feel bad for accusing her, though. Hold on, where? Where's that? Um. Uh. Okay, where am I? I really don't know where I'm at. I'm gonna hold off from going over there. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a quest attempt that takes me over there anyways. So let's go check out the uh, profit of profitability. How do I get there? Is it this way? Yes, it is. Somewhere. I think I know this place. Didn't they try to film an episode of Mass Marketeer up here? I don't know. You tell me. Let's look around. If if he is, if he said something about this place, then maybe there's a. Eh, I guess not. I was hoping for some information, but there's nothing. Okay, I'm confused. How do I get there? kind of hard to see where I'm at though that's uh the problem that I have right now this map does kind of suck to be a hundred percent honest it's got to be this way right it most definitely is this is definitely the biggest part 
of this entire area. There is a workbench right over there. So we're going to take advantage of that. Actually, you know what? I don't even need to because I could just repair all equipped. And voila. Wait, what's the damage at now? Eh, it didn't go up at all, seems like. It's okay, though. Man, it really does feel like we're going to fall off, aren't we? Oh, I love... I love this map. Not the map that you find in your... Uh, in your menu system, but like the actual map, like these locations on the map are honestly right on point. The physical map, though, is kind of bad. <gasps> Hi, yeah, I missed every hit. Wow, get out of here. Will you stop hitting me? Is that an alpha? No, that's a mega canid. That's the last of him. Ooh, what's this? Uh, xenophobia? No, thank you. This is Silvio Tran, setting a new record for the Grand Colonial Bellhops Laundry Cart League. If you're listening to this, you're listening to history. And tall tree, as we agreed, when I win, you're scraping terrorist shit off the windows for the rest of your contract. <laughs> and you can stow the fear of heights routine because there's no way you're weaseling out of that, pal. Here goes. That's move the box. No, not no. We got a bunch of named people here. I wonder if this guy's named. No, this was just a bellhop. Okay, this is interesting for sure. I don't really see the point of it though. Is this named? No, this is just a bellhop as well. I can't get in there. Alright. That's that. Oh, hold on. Do we have to... Oh, it's right here. Never mind. <laughs> they just disappeared right behind me. Of course they did. This place is huge, man. I'm very, very curious to find out what is up here. Alright. Let's go. This looks so cool. Oh, I'm excited to check this place out for sure.